the second half. We'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Pelicans trail by 15. Bill Barton is out there with Von. Then it's Livingston, and it's Lofton in at the five, roaming the paint. Valanciunas dishes to Ingram. Step back shot. He can't get that one to fall. And Baltimore going the other way now. And for the Pelicans, running on the wing, they'll have Jones and Ingram. Up front, it's Williamson at the four, and Valanciunas at the five. And it's McCollum in at the point. And there's the call on Zion Williamson. First, that is his first foul. foul of the game. First team. I mean, foul. that's a tough break for the D. I mean, he took the hit and drew the whistle. Baltimore with the ball. The lead is 15. Here's Levingston. And that basket to his impressive total. Brings him to 10 for 14. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And that one's good, Barton. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. Still going hard. And that kind of energy and effort is how they built this lead. Colin passes to Williamson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Second person. And there had been so much First talk team. about Zion wanting out of New Orleans. That was all put the rest this past summer. Zion signing a loaded extension to keep him with the Pelicans for the next handful of years. Pelicans shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Free throw good from Williamson. And Zion, he's just got to do whatever it takes to stay healthy because when this guy is on the floor, he's a difference maker. And both free throws good for Williamson. Right around a minute and a half played here in the third quarter. Barton outside. Pass to Livingston. Wide open look. And Baltimore again with the bucket. How about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Outside, Jones. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Baltimore ball. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Baltimore leading by 19. Often passes to Livingston. Pass to Mason. And there's the pass to Lofton. Shot clock at five. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. An emphatic alley-oop jam. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Back to Ingram. Jones up top. 13 points in the game. Oh, McCollum in position. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Here's Levingston. Makes it off the glass. Levingston's got six here in this quarter. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. McCollum dishes to Ingram. That one, no good. Barton with some nice teams. Not been an easy start. Three straight misses here on these possessions. Kicks to Anderson. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Livingston. Launches it. Pelicans with the rebound. 
Alan Junis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And still looking for his first triple of the second half. He had three at halftime. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. The reviews have been good for the league's moves to eliminate foul calls Brandon on non-basketball moves. The NBA said it wanted the game to be played, not manipulated. Draymond Green says it helps to know that you'll have more of a fair opportunity as a defender. Guys can't just cheat the system. Kevin, back to you. That's great to see, David. Thank you. And the shot is good. Levinson's got 29. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Outside, Jones. Here's Williamson, and he sinks Zion that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Eight points for Zion Williamson. Baltimore leading by 21. Anderson passes to Barton. Back to Anderson. Baltimore moving that ball around. Pass to Lofton. Here's Barton. Williamson with the block. The potential of Zion on the defensive end, man, it is limitless down there. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Passes it to Jones. And here is Ingram. Fires the three. Often grabs the board. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. I know sometimes it looks out of control, but his dribble play can be effective. Barton there with the handle and the deuce. Now a timeout called the by New Orleans. Time and Coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high-efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Jerome, he's checked in for Will Barton. The Pelicans making a switch here. The pass to Daniels. Here's Williamson. The shot's good on the assist by Daniels. Williamson's got 10 points. Well, this is when Zion's at his best. He gets to the interior, can use that quickness and explosiveness. And, and really the story of this second half. One team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. Uh, this team did something in halftime, going from a mild-mannered half-court executing team to some That's heroic so shooting in the second half. Hard ball. to leave any CJ NBA ball. player that wide open from that distance. Out to the right wing. Pass to Jerome. To the inside, stolen by McCollum. And now the Pelicans on the break. Daniels is running, and then Murphy Trey with the dunk. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with a high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets room like that, you got to look out. Anderson in the post. He is guarded by McCollum. Mason the pass to Jerome. Here's Lofton. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Murphy with the ball. McCollum kicks to Murphy. Pass to Daniel. No good on the triple. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. Now here is Murphy. He kicks to Daniels. Off target with his three. It's been a nice stretch for them offensively. I mean, the communication's great. The movement's been really good. This is solid team basketball. And the pass to Jerome. Mason with it. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide-open jumper. 
just unable to do so. Daniels passes to Hernan Gomez. And there's the whistle. Oh, the illegal screen. Trey but when a pick like that is questionable ball. and creates that much of an advantage on the for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul called. Nancy's checked in for Daniels. Often passes to Nemar. There's the dish to Vonley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Third personal foul. That one on Nance. Foul. And what do you guys think so far the about line, the offensive Barons. approach for Baltimore? Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement Timeout. all Timeout. game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. And I feel like there's been an old school aspect to what they've done tonight, and that is pounding the ball inside, getting it down low, getting those looks in close. That's been effective. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. Huddle up, boys. Back to McCollum. Knocks CJ down the 10-footer. McCollum's got 12. I feel like when CJ gets a couple of these to go, it accentuates his ability and confidence to score from the outside as well. Pass to Alkins. Here's Von Lay. And the layup's good off the glass. Von Lay's got four points now in the quarter. He's had some trouble finishing in traffic since he first entered the league, but Von Lay looked confident on that one. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Who is outside? Nance, right side. Lewis, left side. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. This is his first chance at the line tonight. First free throw is good. Shooting for New Orleans. Kyra Lewis at the line for two. And both free throws good for Lewis. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. Pass to Nemhart. Baltimore moving that ball around. From downtown, that one doesn't go. So the Pelicans will take it the other way. And here is Lewis. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll Noah shoot two here. It goes on Noah Von Wow, wow, he got whacked on that, which shouldn't be much debate there. The Pelicans have been perfect so far from the free throw line, six for six. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Mason ejected in for Baltimore. Passes it to Jerome. Here he goes. A shot by Nemhard, no good. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. Murphy on top. It's McCollum on the wing. High post try. Good, he hits the jump shot. McCollum. McCollum's got 14 points. Well, he knows how to get the shot off at any time on that pick and roll. Natural instincts taking over. And the experience helping McCollum as well. Hands it from downtown. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. The pass to Murphy from the arc. Baltimore with the rebound. There's Alkins. 13 points in the game. With nobody on him, he buries the jumper. He's got 15. Guys, he can't miss. I swear, he was trying to miss that. He did not miss. That means he can't miss. And it's blocked. Well, you notice the length there from Vonley allowing him to get that shot block. And so it's Baltimore ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. And they're winning the turnover battle very easily in this one.